The Syrian Arab army, SAA, Hezbollah, and Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, IRGC, are storming the Syrian border city of al Kamal from three directions, after having liberated tal the village of Hamdan and the airstrip, and reached the Euphrates River north of it. According to sources, the SAA and its allies made notable progress against ISIS inside the city, where, despite strong resistance, ISIS is in a no-win situation. Meanwhile, ISIS terrorists have ambushed a column of the SAA Tiger forces near al Kashma, south of the city of al Mayadin. According to the ISIS-linked media outlet Amak, at least 10 SAA members were killed and a T-90 battle tank destroyed. Earlier in November, the Tiger forces started advancing towards al Bukamar from the direction of al Mayadin. However, they have not yet been able to reach this strategic city. The US-backed Syrian Democratic Forces, SDF, have advanced towards the Syrian-Iraqi border from the town of al suwa in northern Deir Azor. The SDF has also launched an advance along the Euphrates bank. According to pro-Kurdish sources, 34 members of ISIS were killed and a vehicle destroyed in the advance. Amak claimed that 10 members of the SDF were killed, 8 injured, and a Humvee vehicle destroyed. SDF spokesman Talal Silo defected from the US-backed force to the area in northern Aleppo controlled by pro-Turkish militants. The SDF accused Turkish intelligence of forcing him to do so. Pro-Turkish sources say that the defection is an indication of growing tensions within the SDF. 52-year-old Talal Silo is a Syrian Turkmen. He became widely known for his strong pro-US and anti-government attitude. He was one of the key public SDF figures and played a key media role allowing the US-led coalition to claim that there were some non-Kurdish persons in top SDF positions.